Welcome back to what might be the last video of the FPS tutorial series, unless I can come up with something else after I'm done with this. This one we're going to cover title screens. In the previous video, we may, if you were watching that one, you may have noticed that when we create, when we created all of our level transitions and we were keeping all of our values, we had a variable that doesn't ever get reset for when we start a new game. So even in the simulations here, we hit play and we start off with whatever we cross that that last save marker with. So in this video we're going to actually change that and we're going to fix something. We're going to fix it so that we can't do that. So we're going to make a small little title screen. Nothing fancy, just a simple you know, say or load game, new game and a quick game. So we're going to go we're going to create a new level. We're going to open it up. I create the new level just cuz I like the black screen. You can kind of do whatever you want in a way. So we're going to create that. We're going to create a widget. We want to go into user interface, widget blueprint, call this title screen. Okay. Go ahead and control S that real quick and we'll label this title screen. All right. Now in here, like I said, we're just going to throw a couple of things together. Let's throw us a text box on the top here. And we'll anchor that to the top corner and 72. Name of the thing is tutorial series. That's tutorial series. You know, just to kind of give it a name. And then we're going to drag out two buttons. Got two buttons. I want these buttons to be 300 by 60. Well, no, let's make them nice and big so we can see them. So 600 by 120. Okay. Put those in the center. Now I'm going to actually anchor these to the middle. 600, not 6,600 to 120. Drag it there into the center. All right. It's not perfect. I mean, you can see by the thing there, but for the most part, it'll work for what we're doing. So we're going to drag a text block onto each one of these. All right. We want it to be a little bigger, so I'm going to double the size. There we go. That looks good. We're going to go new game here. And this one here, we're going to just do 48. And we're just going to call this exit game. Okay. And then all you have to do for the for the exit game the same thing we did for the pause menu. Go in there, make it quick game, quick game, bam, that's done. So now we can sit here, exit game button. Alright. We don't need an event tick. Okay, so go ahead and save that. Now under the new game, it gets a little bit different. Okay, because like I said in the last video in the beginning of this one, we have to reset that new game, that new level variable to being new so that we know to start the, the first level of our game off with the default values and not with the whatever values that were last in that save file. So we're going to open that up. Okay. First thing we want to do is when we click on it we want to remove from parent. Okay. Now in some of the really earlier versions of Unreal it's removed from uh, viewport but since uh, I want to say 4.5 maybe, I know at least in 4.6 and on it's removed from parent. We then want to look and see if we have a save game. Because if we don't have a save game, then we don't have to worry about there being a new file. If we do have a save game, then we need to reset that variable. Or not, maybe not reset it, but just set it. So, if we do have one, we need to load game from slot. Save underscore zero zero one. We need to cast two. Again, I like my variables. So now with that set up like that, we drag off of this and we do. We do yeah, new level. We set new level. All right. 
we're going to set new level to true. Right. And then we're going to save game. The reason we're casting a save game here is because I actually want to save that new level marker for the game to pick up when it loads up. So we do save underscore zero one one because as soon as we start the new level, it's actually going to load whatever information is in that file, and it's going to run with it. So if we set it here, but we don't make it save it back into the file, then it's never going to know that we changed it. And then from there, we just drag off of the save game to slot. We type in open level. We want to open the first level, so it's going to be tut fps001. We also want to connect the false straight to that, to that, that open level. Because if we don't have a save game, well, we just want to go to the level. So open up the level for us. So compile, save. If you play it, ah, but we have nothing. Okay, the reason for that is we forgot to add it to the viewport. So we have to create widget, make it the title screen. Owning player is get player controller. We want to add it to viewport. I want to drag off the event begin play and I want to set game to paused. Um, I don't want anything in the background going off or anything like that. In fact, I actually don't need that because I'm going to go here and then I want to take input and I want to set input mode to UI only with the widget and focus being this widget and the, con the target being the controller. And I also want to drag off of that and set show mouse cursor. And I want to show my mouse cursor. So we click on that. So now with that being that, we can compile. We hit play. Notice we can't click anywhere on the screen. We don't hear our gunshot sounds or anything like that. We have the arrows still there, but I'm not 100% sure why. Actually, I am. Uh, go to uh, go to Windows. Go to, or Win yeah Window. Go to World Settings, and for this level here. We actually have no game mode selected, so why is it loading that? Oh well. But you can actually get rid of that just by messing with the game mode settings here, or actually taking and just telling it not to draw the HUD on this. Uh, it's actually fairly simple. Me personally, I prefer to just have game mode none, and then set my game mode in the other levels. But for the sake of this video, we don't need to worry about that. We have the new game, we have exit game, we can click on our exit game, that works. We hit play again, we click new game. It freezes for a little bit because it's loading the level. We load the level, notice how we have 15 out of 90 now. So if we walk through here, we reload for a little bit. Okay. We hit the first checkpoint, we are now 7 out of 70. We have full ammo or full health. We're going to cross into the next level. We have 7 out of 70 still. I want to go ahead and exit. We play this again. I want to run a new game. We still load the first level and we still have 15 out of 90, which is our, our default values. And that's how you reset that. That's a basic tutorial or basic title screen. You can also do other things with the title screen such as um, a loading feature or a uh, continue feature. If you wanted to do a continue feature, you pretty much do it the exact same way you did the new game here, but you would, instead of casting new level and saving the file, you would actually want to have a way to save the level itself and then causing this open level to open the level that you have saved. So that'll be it for this tutorial video, and in the next one I might actually just go ahead and do that. I might go ahead and cover the continue, a continue button and how to continue from one level, 
like if we got to level two, we don't want to start a new game. We want to continue the game from where we left off. So it'll actually spawn us into the second level. And if we can get it in at the whatever last checkpoint we were at when that happened. So stay tuned and hope to see you in the next video.